What's up everybody, Dana Leong here, aka Mr. Click Everything. Software developers love and hate me since I don't have a background in programming, but give me a program and I will click and test every last bit of it to the max. However, today, since the landscape is ever evolving faster and faster, we're going in with some rapid fire first impressions to find the best turnkey AI music creator. Let's go. For simplicity, I've boiled my ratings down into a few broad categories. First impression, price, device support, whether that is web only, OS X, Windows, iOS, and or Android, functions, and usability. The results are in. We went through 15 different music creation AI tools just to find the top five. The results are based on turnkey solutions, meaning that there's no programming necessary, you don't need musical experience to use them, and you don't need any special tools to use them on your computer. Coming in at number five was a tie between Koso by Splice and Splash Music. Both are mobile only, drum machine style, gamish apps where you can press different cells on screen in order to make different beats. Quite interesting. Uh, it nailed the uh, Nile Rogers uh, guitar. Very simple drums. You can just press to uh, press and hold to be able to uh, solo a track. Yep, bass sounds pretty disco-y. You just hit a button. It's a lot like uh, the Launchpad or the Ableton Live, where that loop starts playing and starts uh, looping over and over again. And you can just add layers. So I've got the drums popping right now. Let's say I want to move from there to bass. Yep, now we have the bass running. I can switch drums, right? and it'll automatically switch at the next uh, uh, loop. Let's just bring in the synth and the leads. It's a pretty decent uh, mix of stuff. It's both of them, I gave a 31 out of 50. Coming in at number four, is Ava.ai, an oldie but goodie. This I describe as an online MIDI audio creator. It has professional flexibility, meaning you can work with audio, you can work with the MIDI, and you can edit the songs. It has professional flexibility, but the final songs themselves need a little bit of musical adjustment. It has multiple options for creation, such as creation by an audio file influence, by a description, or by the templates, which are based on musical moods. This is something that is harder to come by. Uh, in the AI world, where you can actually drop a track in and say, let's make something based off of this. Automatic detection. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Our key detection algorithms are 80% accurate. Okay, that's uh, pretty good. Uh, we only recommend specifying a key signature if you're sure of it. Well, guess what? I am. They're upfront about it. It takes 30 seconds. It's trying to figure out what the DNA of this music is. One of the things I liked about this is we used this to very quickly figure out the instrumentation of, of Airs of the Dragon that I orchestrated for Tectonic Symphony. And instantly it knew it was symphony with percussion, with strings, with brass. Uh, and we were able to export that as a MIDI file and then drop that right into Ableton. And we had a big template with all the instruments right away. Ooh, we can create a, a piece based on this influence. Okay. Well, let's hear it. gave that a 32 out of 50. Coming in at number three is Boomi, which is described as a, a platform and an app that can turn vocal recordings into complete songs with vocals and lyrics, meaning you can record a short segment of your voice and it can remix that and put some effects on it and create an actual song out of it. You can automatically add, remix, 
melodized spoken audio into generated music as well as just instrumental music. What's actually novel about this is you can actually use Boomi to create music and then immediately submit it to platforms like YouTube, TikTok, and potentially earn revenues if people are to listen to that music. Pretty interesting concept. Make instant music, share it with the world. Create original songs in seconds, even if you've never made music before, get paid for every listen on platforms like Spotify, TikTok, YouTube, YouTube, yeah, YouTube, YouTube, and YouTube, and 40 plus others worldwide. Like that's a pretty uh, unique uh, angle there where you can make this AI music and then you can post it yourself onto Spotify, TikTok, YouTube, and potentially make royalties if people actually listen to it. About we make something soothing and meditative. Let's see how that works out. Pulsey. What'd you call me? Pulsey. Here we go. And you can save it, you can reject it. We're gonna add vocals. Let's add vocals. Let's see what happens. Oh, I can record my own voice. Let's try it. You are now entering the meditation zone, a place where all of your worries and all of your stresses dissolve into nothing. This is really incredible how much you can do on a web interface now. There we go. If you're stressed, if you're stressed, with every, with every, if you're stressed, if you're stressed, is tension, 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 Sounds a bit like hide to wife, hide to kid. Coming in at number two is Ecrypt Music slash SoundRaw.io. I already did a review of these guys in my previous 15 spooky songs for Halloween. So if you want to see the in-depth review of that, go back through my streams and find that video from the Halloween time. I gave them a 34 out of 50. Coming in at number one is Song Starter by BandLab. It's an integrated online DAW for prosumers. You've got the most amount of flexibility in terms of being able to work with MIDI, work with the prompts. You're able to edit the songs and export them. And after you create them with the AI, which is relatively quick, you can even bounce them right over to their famous online digital audio workstation where you can mix these, you can master them, you can replace the instrument sounds, and you have a lot of flexibility there. The best part about it, it's 100% free. So you can't beat that. And it looks like you could just roll the dice to create a song or you have this uh, enter lyric option. Uh, let's try both. The magic. So this is just a completely random song. Okay. It sounds, uh, I'm being influenced by the graphic obviously, but it sounds like the, uh, uh, the sound you might have when you're about to select a video game character. Almost the same song. It's like a different section of it, I see. Okay, if you wanna open that up in studio, then you open it up in, I'm gonna imagine it, that it opens up in BandLab, which is one of the first online DAWs. Yep, there it is. So this is pretty powerful in terms of being able to uh, start a song and then customize it right away. In terms of the uh, sounds though, they are still pretty stock MIDI. Uh, I would probably rather adjust here and then maybe export out to a professional DAW like Ableton or Logic or Pro Tools and then start working with real instruments uh, that are or, or more uh, high quality instruments that have a little bit more, uh, I don't know, more grit to them, more uh, realism, more punch, more, I don't know, just something a little more polished. And right away, you can just uh, master it by mastering. And this is all amazing because so far, this is free. I don't even know if I 
have signed in or signed on for an account yet. And I've already created music, mastered it, and am getting ready to download it. So there are three platforms that are honorable mentions. They are not turnkey solutions, but they are doing something pretty innovative that I thought needed to be mentioned. The first is Heard Sounds. I went in and found this. It is basically a song dissection tool where you can take a full song and then explode it back into the original kind of stems, separate instruments. There are other companies doing this, uh, but not quite at this level. Check this out. That's what I'm looking for. Use these two section markers to cut out just this part. And then I'm going to delete the rest and split out the stems okay. from this section. Stem splitting algorithm turns it into vocals, bass, drums, what? and other. Look at I'm that. Bring the vocals over here and do something cool with them. This is what they sound like by themselves. That's unreal. Now using timbre transfer, I'm going to turn these vocals into a saxophone. And this is where it's next level. Not a great sounding saxophone, but you could get a, a demo I'll going the drums and the bass, uh, to snap see if you wanted to the hire now I want to add another track. a real saxophonist or what. That is insane. There is a beta to sign up. I'm definitely on that. I want to try this. Can't wait. Looks crazy. Awesome. Second on the honorable mention is the DJ Pro AI app by Algorithm. I've tried this, it's super awesome. You can play a song, you can DJ like a regular DJ app, but you can play a song and then split it into bass, vocals, and drums. And that is pretty awesome that you could do that on the fly. It's really powerful for uh, remixing. Say you wanna take the drums from one song and then put them over the vocals of another song and then pull the bass line from a third song, right? It, the options are quite amazing, quite vast. So I gotta give them an honorable mention as well even though this is not a turnkey solution for creating AI music. It is AI powered. Pretty awesome. Third and last is this guy, which is under uh, listed under Mellow Drive, but it automatically forwards to this infinite album. This is a service that creates adaptive AI music for gamers who live stream. So while you're live streaming, it observe the gameplay and create a background music that is royalty free and completely original. I don't play. I'm not going to join the beta, but it does sound like a very cool and unique and necessary service. Quite cool. I think that this definitely deserves an honorable mention and a try for those who are out there doing the live streaming in the gaming world. What do you guys think? Have you tested a lot of these AI music creator platforms? Which ones are front runners for you and why? Drop your comments below and let's keep the dialogue going.